you have ICON, where the hidden world meets the visible. In our own day-to-day, -day, the acoustic world is always meeting the visual world. That is, the hidden world of sound is always bumping into the world of sight, of the visual world. And where the two meet is ICON. And this is what I do. You, my, you that's would my call job. yourself an artist. In that sense, yes. Yeah. Well, my approach has to be used if anybody wants to get hold of anything. Uh, paranoid about, um, what do we call it, pollution. The problem is this, and what we have done is this. Time is the alphabet. In Greece. Now, the Phoenicians were not in Greece. They were all around in the, in the Mediterranean world, but they weren't in Greece. And therefore, the opposite of a point of view. School. That's essentially it. When Cubism came in, 1900 or so, it was called multi-locational Unaware, I've been aware that there has been a hang-up here, but unaware of why. This Mrs. Egbertone is really a very useful bit because the whole British upper class mimic, with voice, they mimic the world of printing. This puts the lower classes way down because they still retain many of the characteristics of pre-print in their voices. So the class structure in England is quite simple. So the class structure in England is quite simply simulating print with the voice. Tell dear Mrs. Equitone, I bring the horoscope myself. One must be so careful these days. Now, Equitone, notice, is the yeah. name of speaking in prose. Tell dear Mrs. Equitone, I bring the horoscope myself. One must be so careful these days. You see, you talk as if you were a printed page. Equitone, yeah. Yes. Equal to. And that is the effect that print has had on speech. It gets rid of all the hijinks of the spoken word. Yeah, that's the key thing. No. Correct English right. is, is like talking like a book. Yes. Then... Uh, yeah, it's going to be like talking like TV. Now, that is a very interesting thing. Yeah, yeah, isn't that... Oh, it's like Mrs. Equitone. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Isn't that, isn't that the implication? Is that now we're going to be talking like TV? Well, you see, Mark Twain already reverted to dialect, mm -hmm. and then it said he updated the English language. Yeah, that's a, you know, very interesting um, passage in there, to criticize the critic. Somebody said, scratch an Oxford man and you'll find a cockney. Structuralism being a popular and acceptable concept. As a small child, I had, was told at the dinner table over and over again,